Hey, how are you guys? Don't be a gringo and let's pay the tribute to the magic of Camino de Santiago learning these five really easy and useful words in Spanish that can save or enhance your journey of Camino de Santiago. I pinky promise you that on the end of this video you're not gonna be fluent in Spanish, but you can learn something really useful and use it in Camino and make it unforgettable experience. It is not about exact forms, heavy declination or boring grammar, it's simply practical. And to make the learning even more grounded, every time you see the word just on the side, repeat it aloud. It's like a game, so let's play. So when you wake up in the morning, you might have desayuno, which is a breakfast. They might have it in Alberga when you stay, but people normally prefer to have desayuno after some hours of walking. So they would actually wake up early, walk for maybe one or two hours until to get to the first available bar to get their desayuno. A rich variety of different ingredients, sandwiches with Spanish sausage chorizo, there's a French Spanish omelette called tortilla, as well as a bread with tomato but there is one important part of desayuno which in Spain has a different form and different name which is cafe solo cortado cappuccino americano cafe con leche and the most hidden secret of Spain carajillo and remember, have a good coffee, they can set you up for the day because there's a lot of walking just in front of you. Every time you're in the albergue, bar and restaurant, you can ask for sello, which is a stomach. This is the main indication, apart of the blisters on your feet and the smile on your face, that you actually walk in the stages of Camino de Santiago, the San James Road. You will need sello, to put in the credential to claim the diploma once you get to Santiago. There are different types of sello, different designs, colors, the ways of making, and you can see it clearly on your credential. There's a whole culture behind and the stories as well. So the next time you have your desayuno, you can ask for sello. By the way, my mom told me not to speak to strangers, so if you're still not a friend, please give a like to this video and subscribe to this channel and let's spread the good Camino vibes everywhere! Thank you! And now it's the time to take your mochila backpack and go for Camino de Santiago. This is the second skin and often too heavy. It should be less than 10% of your body weight, but it never happens. If you want to know what I put inside of my mochila for 35 days, there will be the link just upstairs out uh, there or in the description below. Sometimes unexpected can happen and you can hurt yourself in the knee or in the ankle and then what? There is a special service that can take your mochila uh, to the next stage. It costs around three to six euros but don't be lazy, use it only in case of emergency, don't eat too much and then call the company to take it to the next stop. If you take mochila with you, it can teach you a really valuable lesson. This is probably one of the most important words, flecha, which means the arrow. You have to follow the indication, the yellow flecha, to get to Santiago. You can often find it in the lampposts, in the stones, in the houses, or also in the special signs. It's like a children's game based upon trust. And many times you're gonna doubt if you follow in the good direction, and then suddenly you find Flecha, and then you know it's the correct way, and your trust is to recover. Desayuno, Seyo, Mochila, Flecha. And by the way, the next week I will do a special video about shoes. 
and there will be a comparison between three different style of shoes which will be hiking boots which would be ultra marathon trail runners as well as barefoot shoes and it's all to find actually the best shoes for Camino de Santiago if you have any ideas about your best shoes please comment down below and in less than 45 days I'll be in Camino as the Camino is about relating to oneself and also to other people and exchanging experiences the best way to call other people's attention is to say amigo amigo or if it would be the feminine form amiga this is actually the magic of Camino de Santiago that it doesn't matter where you're from and doesn't matter which language you speak which background you have and which age you have you can be amigo of everyone and to say amigo it's a great way to actually break the ice and to get to know somebody so once you had your desayuno and you have asked for sello and you put on your mochila and then you've been looking for the flecha now you're officially on the camino amigo